that. I hate it when it does that. Always gives you the wrong thing. Okay. You know what? Bet you it's supposed to be set relative location. There we go. We're gonna pop that in there, pop that in there. This does what I want it to do. There we go. Okay, so now we've got two teleporter or two objects that I can move. We're gonna set one right up here. Eh, good enough. Let's make sure I can. Okay, so should be able to get on top of each one. Boop. Awesome. So yeah, that's the difference between between relative and world. Uh, if you're trying to do something where you're moving to a specific vector location that is given to you by something inside of your actor, it's probably best to go ahead and do relative. Which makes me think that might have been what was wrong with my uh, my spike pits last week. I think I was setting it to world location. Okay, anyways. So, we need to select box one. On actor, begin overlap. Oh, I don't want to bind an event. Mm, excuse me. and do the same thing for box yeah box one let me call them something different teleporter one box teleporter two box there now we can tell them apart a little better so we're going to do a cast. To third person character, since that is the character we're using. And then, if it passes, we are going to set actor location. We don't want to mess with the rotation because what I'm doing in this case is I'm actually just going to make it face whatever direction you were going when you jumped into the teleporter in the first place. And we are going to get location. There we go. So. What we're doing here is when the player jumps into the box on top of the table, it is going to set the actor location of the player to the trigger box of Teleporter 2. So let's see. This is Teleporter 1, that's Teleporter 2. So if I did this right, should... There we go. So we teleport. Cool, huh? Very simple. But it's not enough. It's 
never enough. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to show you what not to do first, so I'm going to save just in case it crashes. But it's important to know what not to do with this, because if you do this, you're going to have a bad time. Okay. So as you can see, I've got my two boxes. I've got Teleporter 1 set to Teleport to Teleporter 2. I've got Teleporter 2 set to Teleport to Teleporter 1. Sounds all well and good. I have saved. So don't judge me. Oh. Uh, push me out. Okay. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Eh. Forgot to do that. Yeah, we got an error while playing. Infinite loop detected. Because the way it was set up with just this is you hit teleporter 1, you go to teleporter 2. Well, teleporter 2 triggers because you hit teleporter 2, so it sends you back to teleporter 1, which sends you back to teleporter 2, which sends you back to teleporter 1, and so on and so forth, until the editor crashes because you hit a million loops and you didn't increase the max loop count. Okay, but it would have kept going anyways. So... What do we need? We need a boolean. And this boolean is going to be teleported. Set teleported to true. We're going to do that for both of them. Now, we need to add one more thing, haw, before we finish this out with some event released. And that is, right here, we're going to make a branch. And uh, TK4 is correct. You could do a delay. Um, I like this way simply because it can be more immediate. But if you're doing something where they're on like a timer and then you could set it off again or something like that, that would be just fine too. So it's going to check and see if your boolean for teleported is true. If it is, we are not going to teleport. If it is false, we are going to teleport. So since we set it to true right after jumping on one of these, should apparently give us an infinite loop again. Why? Why you do this? If teleported equals false, teleported true, and you know what? Hmm. Maybe it's happening so fast that uh, doesn't have quite enough time. Okay, hold on. Let's... We'll do this. We'll put it up here. That way this happens before we set the new actor location. As with all things in programming, the order in which you do something is actually quite important in Blueprints. Because it runs from left to right, what was happening, I think, we're going to test, is that it was setting the actor location before it was actually setting the, uh, the boolean to true. So it was going set actor location, set actor location, set actor location, and then never actually finishing. I think. I could be wrong. Probably wrong. I'm right. Okay, cool. So we got that. But now we don't have a way to teleport anymore. So we need a way to undo this damage. Which is simple. I'm going to add an event. End overlap. 
add event, collision, and overlap, and we're going to have them do the exact same thing. Let's just set, teleported, well, we don't want it to immediately set to false. because that might be a little screwy. Yeah, that puts us back into an infinite loop. So actually, you know what, we'll do this way. Boom. We're going to be smart about this and a little unnecessary. Oops. So now instead we're actually setting up two booleans, one of which is for teleporter 2, so teleported 2, one of which is for teleported 1. Now teleporter 1 is going to check teleported 2, and teleported 2 is going to check teleported 1. <sighs> That's a mouthful. End overlap on the second one is going to end teleported 1. And we're going to set teleported two to false on this one. I think this will work. There we go. So now we have a means by which to pass back and forth between them. Could we make this more interesting? I believe we could. I believe I'm going to try to make it just a little bit more interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. It only kind of worked the last time I tried. I'm going to add a static mesh. Porter 3. There we go. Box collision. Viewport. Table. Porter three box. Okay. Uh, ported three. Then tele teleporter two. Three. Book. Hmm. Wonder why that eh, I'm not gonna fight with it. Set that. Expose three D widget. Go ahead and set the third one. Oh, right, I have to go into construction script. Copy. Teleporter 3. Set it to teleporter 3 location. So, what I'm about to make is um, kind of dumb, to be honest, and probably not the most particularly useful. I'm making it just because I want to. Because reasons. <laughs> 